Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a post task reactive form in Angular. So let's get started. Let's go to post task component.ts and here I'm going to initialize a variable with the form group. After that, I'm going to declare here the variable to save the response of the get users API that is a list of employees. That is a type of n and here I'm going to initialize with an empty array. We have a variable that is a list of priorities. Inside the get users method, I'm going to call it the variable that is a list of employees. And here I'm going to give the response of the API to this variable. After that, inside the constructor, I'm going to inject here the form builder. Let me call here the reactive form variable that is a task form and it will be at the start fp.group. Inside this, I'm going to declare the variables that we need to get from the task form. First, we have employee ID. That is by default null. After this, I'm going to add here the basic validation that is a validator start required. Second, we have title. Third, we have description. Fourth, we have due date. And the last, we have priority. Let's go to post task component.html and here I'm going to add the HTML code. You can see the HTML code where we have a form title that is a post task. After this, we have a form tag. Inside the form tag, we have the different inputs. First input for the title, second input for the description, third input for the due date, fourth input for the priority, and the last input for the select employee. And at the last, we have a button that is a post task. You can see the property on the form tag that is a form group where we are calling our reactive form. After binding the form tag with the TS, we have to bind all the inputs with the TS. So you can see the input for the title. Inside the input tag, we have a property that is a form control name with the value title. You can see the variable name that is a title. And after this, we have a input for the description on the text area tag. We have a property that is a form control name with the value description. You can compare this with the reactive form variable that is a description. And after this, we have a input for the due date on the input tag we have a form control name property with the value due date second last input for the to select the priority so basically this is a drop down to show all the priority values that we are getting from the ts you can see the variable that is a list of priorities with an array that is a low medium and the high inside this input you can see the mat option tag where we have added the for loop to get all the priorities one by one from the list of priorities and after this we have to show all the priorities in the drop down and the last input we have to show the name of the all employees in the drop down. You can see here the mat select tag with the property form control name with the value employee ID. And you can see here the mat option tag where we have added the for loop where we are getting the employee name from the list of employees. You can see here the array where we are giving the response of the API. In the value property, we are giving here the employee ID. And in the drop down, we are showing the employee name. At the last, we have a button that is a post task where we are calling the method that is a post task. Let me update the event that is a click. Let me copy the method name. Let's go to post task component.ts. Inside this method, I'm going to add here the console.log to print the reactive form values in the console. So it will be a this dot task form dot value. Let's go to UI and you can see here the error that we are getting. Property list of employees does not exist on the post task component. So let me copy the variable name. Let's go to post task component.ts. Let me update this. And you can see error result. Let me open here the inspect. Let's fill the form with the title. For example, make the UI professional and the description over here. Let me select here the due date that is a 15 April. And from the drop down of the property, I'm going to select here medium. Let's select here the employee. So I'm going to select here the Johan. Let's click on this post task. And you can see we are getting the values from the reactive form where we have an employee ID, title, description, due date, and the priority that is a medium. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.